Dolphins fans, NFL fans, welcome to my week one in the trenches predicts uh, week one of the NFL season. Lots of people are doing predictions today. Um, and I don't want to step on anybody's feet in the community or anywhere else. But at the same time, tomorrow is going to be a busy day for me. Uh, 2K is coming out. Let's all get hyped for that. Um, definitely hyped. I think I'm going to... You know, low key, we change the change the region. You can start playing at twelve, so uh, twelve p.m. in the afternoon tomorrow, and then I got obligations to do until about six o'clock, and then it's gonna be NFL time. So I need I needed to do this today. I needed to post this today. I'd also like to thank everyone for getting my hype video to three thousand views, but I've gotten so big that people um, use my content. Now, I'm not salty. I kind of am. Because it got about 18,000 to 20,000 views now on Twitter. Um, but you know what? It was all Finns fans anyways. It would have been nice. The potential followers. So I could get to maybe 200 subscribers by, by the start of the season. But it doesn't look like it's going to be like that. Uh, but honestly, thank everyone for the support. Um, it means the absolute world to me. When I work really hard on a video and it just, it blows up like that, you know, truly, you know, I've gotten 14, 15,000 views on, that was my biggest viewed video. Obviously this doesn't beat that, but at the same time, I will not complain over like a, a video is a success to me. If I get over a hundred views on it, you know what I mean? Um, let alone 3000 views on the video with like almost a hundred likes. No, that means a lot to me. Like it, when when I see it, um, I have a hard enough time talking in front of students in class than you know than three thousand people. Like I, I think about that where I got three thousand people put three thousand people in an area, and that's who's watched your video, and that's huge to me. Almost get emotional about it because how long I've been grinding on YouTube. Um, for that, it really means the whole world to me. And also thank you for 130 subscribers. Um, but that's not what you guys are here for. NFL fans, if you're in here, the rest of you suck. The Dolphins are going to the Super Bowl this year. That's my, that's myself every single year setting myself up for failure. Um, we're going to win every single game. You know, I'm not going to be like that, but I'm not going to do the Dolphins games during my weekly picks because you're going to have to see that. The preview on Friday uh, that comes out. Um, that's the only way you're going to see it from me. Uh, you know, I, w I won't get into it. I thought about I dropped, thought about throwing some shade, but you know what? It's it's whatever. You'll I'll save that for my preview. Uh, I would also like if any um, other YouTubers reaching out would love to do um, collabs with anybody. That that goes for if you have. 10 subscribers to 30,000. Dougly do wrong. Um, I would like to do a collab with everyone during the season. Um, and that's not just for Dolphins YouTubers. It's also for uh, the NFL community in itself. Um, Tom Grassi will probably be someone I chase after uh, when it comes time for the Dolphins or his Packers game. Not going to happen. It's more likely that someone like Doug would get that but i mean what if i can make that happen definitely gonna reach out uh but that's not what you guys are here for i just keep ranting on and on i'm also sick uh i have not felt good in the past few days um so you know that this always happens to me it's like right before the nfl season or something that's really coming up that i really want to be all good for i never end up being good for because my body just doesn't want me to be happy at, at points um but let's go ahead tomorrow, September 8th. Boys, we made it. We made it through an entire NFL offseason. Like, I, I sat back last night. I watched the final Hard Knocks episode. I'm like, damn. That was the final Hard Knocks episode. I waited two hours watching pregame of the Hall of Fame game. How much I'm addicted to football. How much I love football. I'm so happy me and my brother this past weekend for the first time he's actually getting into college football so we were able to watch like 
a row of games. You know what I mean? And also, my Florida State Seminoles beat LSU. Let me know if anyone's out there that wants to see college football coverage. Totally down for it. Except Saturdays, I kind of go out and watch the games. That's what I do. I like to be around friends watching the games. Uh, but when it comes to Dolphins times, I need to be in front of my own TV. I do not want any distractions. Uh, I don't want anyone um, wanting me to do anything else. That's it. Dolphins, that's it. Thank God we're actually getting the Dolphins game in my area. Uh, my brother is a Ravens fan, by the way. So, you know, he gets he gets an easy week one, too. I mean, we do, too. But stop, stop going off in different areas, Peyton. Um, Thursday, September 8th, tomorrow, the Bills go against the Rams. <laughs> you suck, Bills. You suck. Um, you're about to see. Without Tredavious White, Rams off their Super Bowl, you're going to think, oh, they're going to be on a Super Bowl hangover. Well, I got news for you, Bills fans. Rams, put them, put them in. Rams are going to win this game uh, Rams close though. I think it's within seven or five to seven points is what I would put it as. I don't think it'll be just a field goal, uh, honestly. Um, Falcons right here. So we got the Falcons at home against the Saints. I don't know why anybody's like giving Saints any sort of love or sorry, Falcons any sort of love. Um, I really don't get it. I think. Falcons are going to really be bad this year to be able to get a quarterback. And you might think, oh, they they, they got their quarterback. Um, see, I can't, I can't even think of his name because he's not that good. The guy out of Cincinnati, that's who you got. Normally, I would know his name. Uh, he'll probably come up when I'm halfway down the list. Um, dang it. Cannot remember this man's name. Uh, but he's not going to start. You got Marcus Mariota as your starter. Uh, Desmond Ritter. There you go. Des Desmond Ritter is your backup. I had to say Marcus Mariota before remembering his name. Um, yeah. Mariota is going to be your starter. He's not going to be that good. He's not your future. Desmond Ritter is not your future. As much as Madden Simulations want it to look like. Uh, but Saints are going to win this game. Hands down, I think that's happening. The game I wish that was not at 1 o'clock. If this game could not be at 1 o'clock, that would be amazing for me. Because I would be in front of my TV watching this. Absolutely. Uh, Browns at Panthers. This is Baker Mayfield's revenge game, baby. It's go time, Baker. Baker's about to light up Cleveland for about... 270 to 300 passing yards. I'm not going to go crazy and say like 400. You got to give about 80 to 100 yards to Christian McCaffrey. About 150 of scrimmage yards is going to go to Christian McCaffrey. Because it is week one. Christian's going to be healthy for about a few weeks. So, we'll be good. 49ers at Bears. As much as I want to root against the 49ers, I, the Bears are going to be terrible too. So, um short story or long story short um 49ers are gonna win this game uh, with the whole jimmy garoppolo situation trey lance um i don't think that's it's gonna be a distraction but not enough of a distraction like if they were playing somebody a little better than the bears then maybe it'd be a distraction enough where they do end up losing this game dropping this game but they're in chicago i i think i think it doesn't matter where it is really but the 49ers are gonna win this game Mitch Trubisky, oh man, Mitchell Trubisky and the Steelers take on the Bengals. I don't know how anyone can, like, I get it. Mitch Trubisky looked a whole lot better with the Bills. He grew a whole lot uh, during the season with the Bills, able to learn uh, with Brian Dayball. That's where he should have gone. He should have went to New York with Brian Dayball. That would have worked out a whole lot better for you, my friend. Um, and he wouldn't have been thrown out as early. Mr. Trubisky, Kenny Pickett, obviously the second guy, but I thought I saw it on a depth chart. He was third, which is an absolute L. This is the first time in 15 years a rookie won't start week one in the NFL um, out of every single team. 
Steelers at Bengals. The Bengals coming off that Super Bowl loss. The Bengals still at home. Um, I think they get get the job done against the Steelers. Steelers will start 0-1 in the Trubisky era. And I think it's going to be a pretty quick era if you ask me. And I was almost thinking about doing the whole season of predictions. But I mean, like you just that gets thrown out the window. Like, anything can happen to anybody. So, I need to do this week by week. Um, Eagles at Lions. I want to pick the Lions so badly in this game. After watching their hard knocks, the team that can and will, if that's what the quote is. <laughs> he, he Dan Campbell took forever. It's, I mean, they could have cut that up a little bit, but they let that Dan Campbell think about his answer for what the what the 2022 Lions look like. And he went two minutes of silence. I mean, you could have at least cut that to about a minute, maybe, just to have a little bit of, you know, st- on the edge to see what he's going to say. But um, it was a little too long. I think you were trying to get your final few minutes extra to end the episode there. Um, but still, shocker right here. I think the Lions are going to win. Put it, put it right here. Um, Colts and Texans. I actually saw a stat that said something about the Colts have lost five straight openers. If that's right, five, five straight openers. Um, I don't think that's going to happen this time around as much as I want to keep going with history. Uh, I don't think Texans are good enough to beat the Colts. So I have Colts winning that game. Um, Matt Ryan, Jonathan Taylor, uh, Michael Pittman. They they have enough they have enough to to spark on offense. I don't think the division is going to be up there with the Titans. Who knows what happens there? Um, but I th- think Colts start one and zero. Obviously, I'm not going to go over the Dolphins versus Patriots game um, until the preview. You'll know my answer then. It should be pretty obvious, but I also have a score for that game. Uh, Ravens versus Jets. Joe Flacco, baby. At home, obviously, we all know, it is a September 11th um, memorial for New York. Um, Joe Flacco leading that Jets team. And it's going to be a sad, sad day um, for the Jets. You know, you try to win it for New York or whatever, but it's just like, you could have played him against a worse team, you know, for Joe Flacco to have a game. But I guess you can say, oh, Joe Flacco finally facing the Ravens again. It's just not going to work out, buddy. It's The Ravens are going to absolutely crush the Jets. It is going to be a blowout. And Lamar Jackson's going to say, bring me my money. And that's simple. And that is it. Um, I could see this game being like 40 nothing, quite literally. I mean, Ravens should really get that contract done with Lamar Jackson before he before he walks next season. I think this should be a game where everyone's talking about Lamar Jackson's new contract and maybe that he wasn't worth it, and then he scores 40 points on the Jets, baby. It's the Jets, but who knows. Jags at Commanders. The Jags have been going through it the past few years, huh? Ever since going to an AFC championship. Sucks, man. It sucks. But uh, they're rebuilding. I think Doug Peterson is the man. Like, I thought Doug Peterson should have gotten the job the year before, before Urban Liar got the job. Um, Creepy Urban. Uh, But they're going to start out with a win against Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz sucks against the Jags. And Doug Peterson is going to know how to start stop Carson Wentz. He's going to know how to get Trevor Lawrence unlocked. Jags are going to start 1-0. Right here, right now, you heard it. Jags one and zero. They still have shouldn't have paid people that much, but they did. <laughs> uh, Giants at Titans. The Giants are going to be completely trash this year. Um, believe it. Dayball's not going to unlock Daniel Jones. Um, they don't have wide receivers. Uh, it's it's a wrap. The Titans are going to win this game hands down. Even though the Titans won't be good this this year, the Giants are are still just not good at all. Um, this is a good game. I mean, this could have competed for Sunday night, right? Possibly. I mean, better than what we got. I mean, seriously, put Tom Brady and Dak Prescott in prime time. Uh, 
two seasons straight for week one. I mean, seriously, NFL. I mean, we'll get to it. Uh, but Chiefs at Cardinals. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Chiefs. Uh, almost a Tyree kill. Uh, Patrick Mahomes being that perfect man in September. Um, I think he handles the Cardinals. It will be a shootout. No doubt in my mind, it'll be a shootout. And Kyler Murray will just make one mistake. He'll throw everything off. And then the Chiefs will go on to win the game. Um, Raiders at Chargers. Ooh, Chargers, Chargers want revenge on the Raiders. They truly do. And I think they're going to get it at home. I could see the Raiders taking over their stadium. But at the same time, I think the Chargers go out on top. Khalil Mack. On, on the uh, returning against the Raiders, I mean it's gonna it's gonna be sweet. I think the Chargers are gonna win that game hands down. Packers at Vikings. Here's a sleeper pick for you. Vikings are gonna win this game. Um, I think Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are gonna start slow with their new receivers and everything, and the Vikings are gonna win the game. And then everyone's gonna have an overreaction like, oh, the errors are over with Aaron Rodgers, like they did last year with him against the Saints. He'll start slow. And then you'll go off for an MVP. It's just going to happen. And Sunday night football. I mean, the NFL couldn't do us any worse. Tom Brady versus Dak Prescott and America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. I hate I hate the game, but I know I'm going to be in front of my couch ready to hear it, waiting all day for a Sunday night. Like, the, the, the theme song for Sunday night football. I have to sit down. I have to watch the game. Um, Buccaneers at Cowboys. I'm going to go Cowboys to win the opener. I, I don't think the Cowboys are going to be good this year. But at the same time, um, <laughs> Buccaneers are going to start off slow. And I truly believe that in all my heart. Uh, Monday, September 12th, the next day, Monday night football. <sighs> I get it. I get it, NFL. Um, you want to put this game out there, but it's still a terrible way to start Monday night. I will be watching the pain, Eli... Uh, cast of the game because I will not give a doinker about this game. It doesn't matter that it's just Russell Wilson coming back to Seattle. That's the only thing that's going to matter and I want to see Peyton Manning react to it. That's the only thing I care about this game. Only reason. It's going to be a terrible game. Absolutely terrible NFL for putting this matchup on my TV on Monday night. I mean it's normal for y'all. To put terrible matchups on Monday Night Football. It really is. Um, who I got? Who do you think? Denver Broncos, hands down. Geno Smith. I was I was high on Geno Smith last year, too. With the Seahawks. Just because I knew it was for a certain amount of time. Which, it's even still a certain amount of time. Because, you know, Drew Locke is going to play this year. That is a fact. Thank you very much. Um... It's going to be a terrible year for Seattle, and they will be drafting a quarterback next year. They should have drafted Malik Willis this year. Hands down. Should be a GM in the NFL. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but that is it for my picks uh, for this week. I'm going to come out with it. <sighs> yeah, let's do Wednesdays. Let's do Wednesdays for it. Um, Thursdays is just maybe people won't see it in time, and it won't matter but my picks by then. Uh, so we'll do it Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get to 200 subscribers. If we can get to 200 subscribers by Sunday, that's a wrap. I mean, I'll, I'll die. I'll, I'll retire. You know, and then you'll never have to hear my voice ever again on YouTube. I'm just kidding. I'm going to continue to pump out content. Uh, absolutely love every single one of you that hits that subscribe button or even watches the videos and likes my videos. Make sure to go check out the hype video if you have not seen it yet. Everyone is loving it enough to post it on their own Twitters and act like it's theirs. Uh, let's get it. Fins up, baby. NFL, be ready for the takeover. Because I promise you, the Dolphins are coming. The Dolphins are coming, baby. That's it. That's it. NFL, screw you for setting up terrible, terrible night games, except the opening game. But thank you guys so much for watching again. Make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Fins up, baby. All day, every day. See you.